Next film is Black Dog 2023. I get this uncomfortable feeling when I watch some films. It's the observations I get at the start. I felt that early on in this film. Then it subsided and I really loved it, the whole film. I suppose it's often with films, they need tension to make a story captivating for the audience to keep watching. With this film, I felt that, so there's two main characters, two protagonists, two teenage lads. I got confused at one point early on because one had a driving license or ID card, but it was an American driving license and it gave his age as 20. The names are Nathan. Jamie Flatters plays Nathan. Keenan Munn Francis plays Sam. We get to know Nathan first. He's in a children's home. He's in the care sector. I think that's a way of describing it. He's a care leaver and he says he's 18 years old. He says it's his 18th birthday on the day when they start travelling but he lies quite a lot in this film so whether that's the truth Meanwhile, Sam is 17 years old and he's only about a month from the age of majority. He's more believable as a character, although he's got the fake driving licence in someone else's name and he's memorised it. This is the confusion from early on. So what happens? All right, let's explain it. Nathan's with this group of Latin girls. It's like a group of teenagers are hanging about on British Railways property. Just having a laugh in this little metallic tower until they get shouted at by British Transport Police and chased off. So we get to see what Nathan's doing. He's been working in this car body shop type place but he's left. He he goes back, sees the owner and the new apprentice. A bit rude towards him. I mean he's a bit full of himself. He's got this sort of attitude that a lot of teenagers have when they're 17 18 in particular because they know everything about the world and trust me they don't there's a lot more you learn as the years go by i'm sure i was like that when i was 17 also the masculine swagger there's this whole attitude nathan seems a mixed individual he's got some traits which are dislikable and there's some traits that I sympathise with a lot and I think he had a hard time. I mean, growing up in care cannot be easy, but the sort of male ego side and at times the, there's an element of white privilege at one point when he meets this Mancunian hotel receptionist. He asks her where she's from, where you're really from, because he doesn't think she's from Manchester. I mean, I think she says, oh, a Salford, when he tries to delve deeper into his questioning. There's all that sort of thing. That's where I don't like him. And there's quite a few elements all the way through the film where I think, oh, He's going to get in so much trouble at some point. And yet he's got heart. He's got his heart in the right place at times. He helps fight off some muggers when he sees Sam being beaten up down an alley. And this is in Brixton at the start of the film. But he picks up his wallet, Sam's wallet. Nathan picks up Sam's wallet and stashes it. Keeps it with him, looks through it. He's... Obviously suspicious when he finds this US driving license because it isn't Sam. But he steals his money. And then the next day he returns the wallet to him. He goes up to his home and he says, oh, I found this wallet. Didn't give back the money. He's very good at lying about the money we'd already gone when he found it. I wouldn't trust him much if I met him in real life. And he reminded me of people I knew at that time. Oh gosh, when I was in school, the sort of people who my friends hung about with, including there was one lad who was a real, he was quite a hunk. He was good looking. I could see traits about him that I think were likeable and yet wouldn't trust him. And would I let him in a car? Because what happens is Sam gives him a lift 
drive to a tube station because they're both going up north and then there's this mess up and I don't know if Nathan designs it like that. He drops all his stuff, misses the train, Sam offers him a lift and I don't know if that could be by design. It could all be that Nathan's wangled the lift up north but maybe not. He keeps in company, he's, oh, he's puts his feet up on the dashboard, he does all sorts of things. He's very critical of Sam's driving and like showing him things while he's driving. Gee, I was expecting a crash. They drive out of London, they drive through the countryside and Nathan says that it is like his first time. He's never been north of Camden Town. He's a South London lad and that's... I knew people like that when I was at uni. I remember talking to another student and I said, what's the furthest east you've been? St Paul's. What's the furthest west you've been? Bayswater. What's the furthest you know, south you've been? Croydon. What's the furthest north? Enfield. Something like that. I've had the privilege of being out of London, growing up in North Wales, visiting Finland, Sweden, travelling all over Europe, Spain, Tenerife, Italy, France, New York, California, Seattle. But anyway, Nathan's not been further than Camden Town and he's made seeing a little red tractor. It's a sort of coming of age drama, involves a dead dog, there's a whole tragedy. There's lots of ups and downs, There's they cover things like eating disorders, mental health matters, suicide. There's a lot of themes that come up that make this an absolutely wonderfully riveting film for me it's exactly the kind of film i really love absolutely love i'm going to score it 9.25 out of 10 it's got things the qualities that i find difficult about people i don't things that I would avoid if I actually met them and yet in some ways the characters have their hearts in the right places both Nathan and Sam they're young they're 17 18 they've got so much to learn give them a lot of leeway simply because of that and yet I wouldn't suffer their behavior I wouldn't trust them that much because there's that wily certainty overconfidence about life that can be problematic. That's my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please like if you like this review. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you seen this film? Really gorgeous British road trip coming of age film. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. No names. Right, that's the first time that's happened. I'm sure they had names. They weren't non-named people. Edit this out in post. Just not listed on IMDb, but found it elsewhere.